This episode is sponsored by Zazzle.com. Let's face it, you love us. Why not use the coupon code EVERYDRINK13 at Zazzle.com and save 10% off $50 or more on awesome shirts, mugs, and accessories you probably don't need but want real bad. Remember code EVERYDRINK13. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Shore, and this week we're going to start off with a revisiting of the Monin Violet Liqueur. La- liqueur, no. Violet Syrup Liqueur would have alcohol. This has sugar. Yeah. <laughs> Big difference. It would probably be better as a liqueur. It would be awesome. Now. Not that it's bad, but. No. The problem was we made a Valentine's Day recipe, which should have been purple, and it came out gray. Like, the comments I got water, dirty water, <laughs> sink bathtub water. It just was oh, all over the place. What kind of bath do they take? I don't know. They're it's really dirty people. <laughs> uh, so I thought it would be cool to see if we could make one that's actually going to be purple. And when I asked the PR people, they said that if you use a a apple juice, I have one around here. This is what we use, and the dark that dark color can bleed out some of that purple and get you that gray. You need to use a lighter one, and some other people had suggested that as well. So what I'm going to do now is something that's clear and purple at the same time, making purple in the end. Shake and strain. This is called the Violet Martini, vodka martini, if you will. It's going to have violet syrup, the Monin. It's going to have vanilla vodka. I'm using the absolute vanilla. You can use your favorite vanilla vodka. That's it. It's like two ounces. So I'm using my very last AustinDrinks.com martini glass. I just dug one out of my freezer and I hit it against the side and it shattered. This is it. It's my last one. There's other ones, but it's so much or so little amount of alcohol in here. I didn't want to. I didn't want to make this drink that's like this big ass cocktail. A little amount of uh, tiny little ingredients. Drink, in it. not just alcohol. <laughs> right. And the recipe calls for a half ounce of the Monin Violet syrup and an ounce and a half of vodka. Straight, simple. It might be very sweet, though. This is going to be crazy sweet, I think. I did use this in some of my tea. It is. Did you? It's okay. It is only a half ounce, though, so. Yeah, it might also, the sweetness might help counterbalance some of the alcohol taste you might get out of the, uh, the vodka. And I know some people are like, I want a cocktail that doesn't taste like alcohol. Oh, yeah, we're going to get the right colors. <laughs> so I was just shaking, looking for huh? a Monin. Yeah, that's what it said. I was just looking to use the Monin syrup since we bought it. This recipe you found on drinkshop.com? Yes. There you go. So we have, hopefully, smells good. Hopefully, a drink that's gonna be purple. Also, if you have the violets, you could put those on there again, like we. Or mint. Or mint. No. Nope. Pretty grayish again. Is it? A little more purple than gray this time, but. Pretty wow, there's not a lot to that drink, huh? No, that's that's more respectable purple. It's light, might not, it looks better from here. I I think it would look a lot better. You know what it is? It would look a lot better if it had been stirred. Because oh, yeah. there's so many little micro bubbles in there that are kind of giving it that white Foggy. reflection from the lights. Mm. So I'm still gonna say, and I don't know why if it's just because the syrup is thick and it's harder to stir or something, but the presentation is probably gonna get better as it sits. I don't wanna wait. It smells really good. It smells like, for some reason, cookies. <laughs> well, the vanilla. It's gonna be the vanilla. Violet cookies. There is still, you get a little bit of ethanol kind of in the finish. I don't know if I'd call it alcohol per se because it's just so tasty. like. I feel like cookies. Vanilla, really. The 
this is a good pairing. The vanilla and the, the violet work in a weird way. They, I don't think they should. Again, I don't normally would think of eating or drinking a violet. So if you put a violet on there, it might look even better. Maybe bring a little more violet aroma to it because it's very, very vanilla smelling. Vanilla tasting. Nice. Is it sweet? Yeah, it's sweet. But. Like oversweet though or okay sweet? I don't think it's oversweet because typically when you get those drinks that are just super, super sweet, they tend to have a thickness to them. Almost like if you drink regular Coke. I had this conversation with somebody, I, I think, on Facebook who said, I, I, anything with zero, like Sprite Zero, it's like zero taste. I'm like, well, you know what? I don't really like Coke anymore because I love Coke Zero. And when I drink Coke, you get that like syrupy, like you get sweater on your teeth. Like it, it's just like that. it leaves that Sugar. clean sweetness. I'm not getting that from this. This is a little more fluid, not as viscous. It still has a nice, the aftertaste keeps coming, which is really cool. And the aftertaste makes you want to take another sip because you want to like revisit it over and over. So this could be pretty dangerous. But well, it's taste. only an ounce and a half, half of vodka. Yeah, but I I I think I could finish three or four of these. <laughs> um, and I'm it, for martini. I find vodka martinis extremely boring. Um, I'd rather have chocolate martinis or something like that. This is in that same realm. Chocolate bar- martinis I think are a little more sweet because they get a little more that you get the chocolate vodka plus you get some of that creme de coco, which I think is what really brings it to the sweetness. This is a proper level of sweet. I'm going to still call it super sweet because I think you're going to say it's still pretty sweet. Overall, I like it. This makes me okay with the fact that I spent a lot on this. <laughs> so there you go. Well, it's just a lot for considering how much you could go down to the store and get it for. If you could go to I the mean, store I mean, it was like, it. what, $16, but it cost us as much to ship as it did for the bottle, which Probably makes cost a lot. about as much as the absolute vodka when it's all yeah. said and done. <laughs> But you can make a, and, and this is another argument, buy these two ingredients. Even if you spend, let's say, 50 bucks, 60, you will be able to make more than your fair share of cocktails, even just this one. This would cost you $6.99 at the, at, at the restaurant, yeah. right? So you're still, there's still a savings here. You're just paying an upfront cost. But the upfront cost of awesome. Unless you can go into a, a local store and get moaning. We then couldn't. <laughs> lower your cost. Make your own vanilla vodka. Lower or bring up the quality. Like I, I think know, someone cost. commented on Facebook that they could, they had a hard time getting Orgate. Yeah. We can go to a local store and get no. that. I thought the coffee shops around here had it. They might. I don't really know. I buy my, I bought a three pack. Here's two of the ones I haven't opened yet on Amazon for like 30 bucks or less, I think. Mm. But if you buy multiple, it, the, then the it, it's a wash with shipping. Yeah. So I always buy in multiple sets. So buy like seven vodkas and eight Monas. But when I was buying Monin, I didn't want to buy multiple because no. I didn't know what we it was like. We are going to like it, but you will. <laughs> Check out everydaydrinkers.tv for more cocktails like this and others and better and worse. So there you go. We're teaching you how to drink.